something else. First come the baseline tests. This is what happens when Tony Lightfoot tries to draw a swirl. Lightfoot has what's called essential tremor, the most common movement disorder. Drugs have not helped. Have you got a raincoat? This is what happened when Tony drank some water earlier. Just about anything that I use my hands with, uh, dressing in particular, um, eating is terrible. Uh, very embarrassing to go to a restaurant, for example. Lightfoot was an engineer. Losing the use of his hands was a huge blow to his profession and his self-esteem. He's hoping 15 years of tremors will be a thing of the past. Uh, write again. Sign my name again. Um, with my right hand, hold a cup of coffee. Lightfoot is only the fifth patient in Canada to have his tremor treated with an MRI-guided ultrasound. It's scalpel-free surgery. The tremor is, is generated in the brain. There's a, there's a circuit that, instead of providing sort of steady tone to the, to the muscles, is actually oscillating and, and uh, causing the tremor. It is sort of like using a magnifying glass and you making, using it to burn a piece of paper, where you collect thousands of beams of light, or in this case, ultrasound, and you focus them onto a focal point. And all those beams intersect and they heat the tissue uh, to the point where the cells that cause the tremor are destroyed. You can see the improvement during the procedure, from this to this. So this is the spiral that he did with his right hand before treatment and during treatment. And for the first time in years, Tony can hold a cup of water to his lips and take a drink. How long does it last? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> There's a money back guarantee, though. <laughs> so, uh, and when can I get the other one? Uh, the other four patients so far have shown improvement. They couldn't drink or write or dress themselves before the surgery. Now they can with their dominant hand. The technology is the result of a collaborative work between Toronto Western, Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre, Insight Tech, which makes the device, and the Focused Ultrasound Surgery Foundation, which funded the study.